Welcome back to Airborne Productions. My dad has always wanted a fly press. If you don't know what a fly press is or a screw press, it's a mechanical means of squishing something from the 1800s. My dad had an even better idea. Let's build one. You see, nowadays we have very efficient tools to squish metal. We have hydraulic presses and power hammers and so on. But if you're a hipster, you gotta go back two or three generations in technology. So, to keep my dad from pushing the dry ice video idea, we're gonna put that one on hold and build this freaking fly press. This is a wine press or a fruit press. It was made in 1873. This is the heart of the fly press. This coarse screw allows you to deliver a high amount of pressure, allowing you to press any metal just as you would with a modern piece of pressing equipment. The goal is to mount this heart and soul piece to these rails and also to fabricate a way to hold dies. This large wheel will be used as our base material since it is very heavy. These pieces of track will then be welded to the wheel and between the tracks will be the wine press. This receiver and extension material will make up the vertical sliding portion. We cut these to length on the bandsaw, followed by some chops of the track to bring them down to size. With the cutoff wheel, notches were cut in the end of the extension tube. A quick touch on the Rockwell 6x48 and she's good to go. Now for some welding on the end of the screw. This small bolt will fasten the extension to the screw. This plate is where the bolt will be fastened. A quick test fit and it looks good. Remember, the screw will be rotating as the tubing will not rotate, but will only slide vertically in order to press down on the piece. On the track, notches were cut in order to provide a place to bolt everything together and holes were drilled and tapped in the tracks to receive the bolt going through the wine press. So right now I'm bolting this together. As you saw, we drilled and tapped this guy. Just bolting this one straight through. And the bottom of this will get welded to that base plate over there. So here she is standing up. This piece right here is what's going to press down on the metal once we have a die on the end of it, of course. But this is our basic shape. It's attached to the screw right here. We'll double nut this so that this nut doesn't spin. Basically, the screw or the thread right here will spin and this will be held stationary. To do so, taking this piece out here, it's being held and mounted, it's, it's tight. So, You get the idea. <laughs> Wear gloves. <laughs> Okay, so here we are with the semi-finished fly press. It's pretty common for us to get about 80% finished done with the project and then make some minor tweaks as we go. So we don't have a handle yet, but this will do for now. But yeah, she turns, no problem. These right here are drawing dies. They're rounded over. It's the same thing on the top as it is the bottom. So you can really move metal quickly and efficiently. This handle, for now, will help push this thing when you have some steel in here and you need a bunch of force to exert on this.
Ouch. Yeah, you heard that pop, right? We just had this thing tacked together, but we didn't put that much force on it. We didn't think it would be an issue. However, this is cast iron and we didn't take that into consideration when welding. So we revamped the mounting. Instead of just welding it straight to the base, we welded on tabs and bolted it entirely. So it is super strong now. We then mounted it to our stump and it looks awesome. The antique character really adds to the final product and the thing works great. We will continue to tweak it and make improvements as we see fit as we go along. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more of our adventures. See you next time.